Hello po sa inyo. This is DMRPH and welcome to my diary, the diary of a motorcycle rider, Philippines. Magandang araw po sa inyo. Kamusta po kayong lahat? Today, we are going to have our very first helmet review brought to you by LS2. Yeah. Oh my goodness! My helmet! What are you doing? 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 So yeah, mga chupopo at mga ganders kong tropa peeps. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. So uh, let's get this started! Oh, wait! Ready na po ba kayong makita kung sino si DMRPH? Are you sure? Wala na. Finish na. Well, I'm sorry kung hindi po ako yung ina-expect nyo. Hindi po ako pangit. <laughs> Joke lang. Ako po ay isang simpleng tao lamang. So, uh, without further ado, this is not Tony Stark. It's DMRPH or Dimmer Pits. Yeah. Six and a half hours later. One eternity later. Day two, day three, day four. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> muna natin magayos ng buhok. So, yeah. Magandang maga po sa inyo. Magandang araw. So, again, this is DMRPH. And welcome to my channel. The Diary of a Motorcycle Rider, Philippines. Is na po kayo dyan lahat? So, uh, tabi ko lang po muna ito. Aray! Yan! Uyo! Mabigat, no? <laughs> so, yeah. Here we are. The LS2 helmet that we're going to review, no? So, GoPro session para po sa moto vlogging helmet setup ko mamaya, no? Papakita ko po sa inyo. SMH5, which is uh, my Bluetooth communicator. Yeah, I'm gonna show it to you guys later. And Telesin chin mount, chin strap, para po yan na dito. No? Para po dyan natin imamount yung camera. So, uh, we'll talk about that later. But first, we have to unveil my new LS2 gel mat. <laughs> Yeah, so let's do it. The first thing you have to do is to take it off from the packaging. ta -da! There you go. LS2 Helmet. It's an LS2 Rapid. Yeah, for all of you guys out there. It's a courtesy from my friend, oh, courtesy of my friends from Moto World, Moto Market, Green Hills, yes. I bought it like a couple of weeks back, I think around two weeks ago, and I've been using it almost every day to and from the office, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's go start with it. Ito po pala yung uh, solid color edition ng uh, LS2 Rapid, no? It's a color white. Yes, it's a shiny white, no? As you can see there. Ayan. And ito po yung, uh... Ow! Tigas pa! Ugh. This is the optically correct visor, no? With the pin lock ready pins. Yes, dyan po ilalagay yung uh, pin lock para po kapag... Uh, May anti-fog film kayo na ilalagay, no? And then, 
as you can see closer here is a red mesh lining no for uh accent Ariko. i'm sorry i've been uh, this is the first time that i'm going to you do this kind of vlog review no? for you guys so i hope you can uh, bear with me yes and i hope you're going to enjoy it so let's get back to it this is the large breath deflector over here para po uh hindi nagfa fog up yung uh, visor natin ano and over here we have the chin vents it closes and opens and then on the top we have the top vents no and then dito po sa may bandang likod yung pong uh, yung rear vents niya no diyan po uh, dumadaan papasok dito yung hangin and then lalabas na po dito yung uh, init sa loob ng helmet no ito po pala yung uh, Sena SMH5 na mount ko and yung kanyang uh, line ano uh, I use this for my uh, for calls or for music or for my moto vlogging use no and then I'm sorry if I have the sticker on it because I've been using it nga for a couple of days now uh yeah so ito po sa ilalim yung uh, quick release lock no so you just pull this tab, it unlocks na po, no? If you want to lock it, it's so easy. Hindi na po siya double D, no? Like, uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Like this one po, ano? Double D. Uh, you have to, oh, not that one. Ano na? You have to hook it up, and then loop nyo po po, ano? So, uh, I, I, I know, you know, no? what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, uh, under here again is the uh, this is what what they call um the neck roll it's a magnetic neck roll no over here as you can see it also has the red mesh lining over here and this is the chin uh, chin curtain parang ganun po yung sinasabi nila no it's a chin curtain yes para po sa excess air no para hindi masyadong pumapasok lalo na with high speeds no and also this uh, magnetic neck roll is uh, um, what do you call this? Uh, it's removable, it's uh, washable, and it's hypoallergenic. Po, ano? And ayun, not, not so much is uh, going on with this helmet. No? It's uh, so simple, it's alam yun, wala po masyadong arte. It's a bang for the buck helmet. Cheap, yes, but it was not built cheap no it passed all the safety standards ECE DOT sharp and it has the ICC sticker for here for these helmets here in the Philippines you know? so uh, nothing much is going on sa helmet na to, no? but uh, it also comes in two sizes so uh, dalawa lang po yung shell size niya so I think uh, small medium large and I don't know, isang shell lang po siguro, and then the XL, the double XL, another shell size po siguro, no? And this is an honest review, alright po. Alright. So this is an honest review po, ano, for, uh, on, on, based on my opinion, no? Uh, as I was using it for a couple of days now. Uh, hindi po masyadong pumapasok yung hangin. I don't know why, I don't know how, or... Am I doing it wrong? Hindi ko po sigurado. Pero hindi ko rin din po sure kung sobrang init po talaga ngayon. Ano? But uh, napansin ko lang po, first time in my life, no, na pag ginagamit ko po yung NMAX ko, hindi po talaga ako pinagpapawisan. Pero ito po, nung nagamit ko ito, katakot-takot na pawis. Pero bakit ko po ba ito binili? Or bakit po ba ako nagpalit? Yeah, I've been using this the KTSD Tartaruga from AGV for over three years now and I decided to uh, change it to this LS2 Rapid no? because it's so light it's so light too, talaga. Um, you can throw it around you can bump it you can I don't know what you want to do with it it's so light too, talaga. and it's cheap but affordable but it's it's built quality built no quality in everything no wala po talaga tayong masasabi sa kanya pero yun lang nga po medyo 
mainit po sa akin. But, yung uh, sakit po sa neck, nawala. Unlike when I was using this AJD helmet. No? So, uh, yun lang ang masasabi ko sa kanya. Oh yeah, if you guys want to switch from an AGV or from other brands like KYT or NHK or I don't know, I suggest you go one size bigger. Dahil ako po, medium. And ito pong gamit ko ngayon is a large. No? But normally, yung mga head shape po na kasha dito is a medium oval to a medium circular or whatever. Sa Amerika lang po yung applicable. Pero sa ating po mga Pinoy, meron tayo minsan yung flat yung likod. Like ako po. Tapos parang meron akong dalawang parang sungay na nandito. No? And Yun po yung nagiging problema ko sa kanya dito sa top portion, yes, dito. Okay, so, siguro 45 minutes or 40 minutes na po, sumasakit na po yung ulo ko, no? parang pinipit, parang pinipit-pit kong ganun yung ulo ko. Hindi ko po ma-explain, pero over time siguro, makawala naman po yun. Ano? So, uh, ngayon naman po, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano pinapalitan itong visor na to this light smoke visor also from LS2 also from Moto World Green Hills yes thank you uh, to Ate and Kuya for helping me choose the next big uh, thing for me which is a helmet for everyday use you know dahil uh, yun nga po medyo pansin nyo naman po medyo mahilig po tayo sa helmet and I haven't tried the, the LS2 brand to be honest first time and out of uh shock nagulat ako sa sobrang gaan and then i i was i was uh, watching the review no habang uh, tumitingin ako doon sa kanila and then i found out na sobrang okay nga daw po ito pero yun lang anak ka ng tinapay mainit so it's up to you po kung gusto niyo nga uh, bumili or gusto niyo i-try or yung uh, you want to see for yourself ano pero ako you wouldn't go wrong honestly so yeah, let's go back to the visor. Let's change the visor to the light smoke visor. Right now. So the first thing you have to do is to push down the visor. Uh, you put it up, no? Then you push it down. Hanggan sa mag unclick po yung mga yung mga lock na to sa so nakikita niyo dito. So if you push it down, it will unlock, no? Ganon yung po sa kabila. You push it down, it will unlock. And then, yan na po yan. Ah, sorry. Nagpapawisan po ako. So sorry kasi first time po talaga, no? So, uh, yeah. You just pull it like that. Uh-oh. What happened? Yeah, this is okay. Okay. There you go. Yan. Oh, yan. Kaboom. <laughs> sorry. So yeah, let's uh, put this light smoke visor para sobrang double amas na po yung biglaan yung helmet niya. Na napaka simple na puti na it's so plain, you know? So if you change to a light smoke visor or a dark visor or an iridium one, it will look totally awesome. So, ito po. Um, kabit ko lang po muna, then uh, iaharap ko po. Ta, uh, ganyan din po yung pagkabit niyo kung paano niyo siya binaklas and then just make sure na yung mga locks is nakatapat po doon sa parang uh, hole niya no. And then ganun din po yung sa may kabila. No. Tapos pag nakapasok na po siya, you're just gonna press this. You're gonna press it and then uh baba niyo lang po yung visor until it locks into place, no. Yan na po. Napakabilis lang po ano. It Angas na po, di ba? It's uh, like, parang nag-iba na po agad yung itsura ng helmet nyo and uh, mas lalo na kayong gumawa po. Mas lalo kayong naging Chupovsky. Yeah. So, ayun. Ngayon naman po, um, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng uh, very simple motovlogging helmet which parehas na parehas po ng uh, kung paano ko po sinaset up yung mga helmets ko. No? Uh, as you can see here, everything can be worked the same, can be done the same. It's very simple and I'm gonna show you guys kung ano po yung process ng paggagawa ko nito. So let's start off with the camera. 
It's a this one is a hero GoPro Hero Session 4. No, it's so small and it's so compact. Kaya sobrang gaan din po. No? And this one is uh, my Bluetooth communicator. It's an SMH5 also from Moto World again. And this one is the Telesin chin strap or chin mount from our friends from Telesin Philippines. No, pinadala po nila ito sa akin. And then let's start off with a chin mount po, no? So yun. Uh, the first thing you need to do with this LS2 Rapid is to parang i-unclick nyo lang po yung uh, breath deflector, no? Uh, like this. Tapos, uh, ipasok na po natin itong strap. Uh, depende po sa inyo kung gusto nyo ganyan or ganon. Pero sa akin po, ganyan. Ganyan siya. Para nakabukas pa rin po yung air vent, no? So, i-hook nyo lang po ito bago nyo ibalik yung uh, breath deflector. So, from under, yung dalawang straps po, ipapasok lang natin dito. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yup! Huwag po kayo maniniwala sa akin. Madali. <laughs> but, yeah. Once you get used to it, medyo... Mabilis na po, ano? Medyo natagalan lang po tayo sa madali kasi uh, medyo maliit po itong uh, shell size na itong LS2 no? compared sa aking EGB So ayun uh, nakabit ko na po siya make sure uh, to clip again yung breath deflector natin ano? it's so sturdy yeah. so uh, now you can mount your camera so kailangan lang po natin ayusin kung, uh, kung paano nyo gusto siyang ayusin so, kabit lang po natin yung camera. And, make sure it locks into place. And, there you go. So, yan. Nakakabit na po yung camera dun sa chin strap by Telesin. No? The good thing about Telesin is, pwede nyo po siyang ikabit sa kahit na anong helmet na gusto nyo kabitan ng camera. Front mount, kahit na hindi kayo mag-vlog. Or, if you want security footage lang po. Or, like what I usually do before, no? So, it, it's really good kasi hindi nyo na po kailangan magdigit ng Sugru or yung mga 3M na whatever mounts, no? So, now, the SMH5 yung Bluetooth communicator ko. So, papasok ko lang po dyan. I, uh, lalagay ko lang po yung cable niya. And then, I'm good to go. I'm good to vlog, no? So, that's my simple helmet. Vlogging helmet, yeah, for you guys. Na napaka simple. Napaka wala siyang wire, walang mic, walang unnecessary stuff except for this stupid strap na excess, no? Uh, wala pong masyadong arte. So uh, yeah, for all of you guys who want to know um, how I do moto vlogging, it's a uh, gagamitin ko lang po itong camera and then I'm going to talk in front of it after kung uh, i-connect ito sa telepono ko with a voice recorder app that I got from Play Store. It's free. So, kailangan nyo lang pong i-sync yung voice nyo together with uh, yung recorded voice po dito sa video. So, after mo makonect yung uh, Sena, your phone, you're going to want to talk to the blue, to the mic that you have here inside your helmet. Ano? So, if, for example, you say hello or mic test or whatever, and then you turn this on and then you say the same thing like hello mic test or whatever you want and then just sync it sa may filmora or sa video editor just make sure na paghiwalayin nyo po yung audio and then after po nun, you're good to go pag nag sync na po yung voice nyo dito na recorded voice and then you reco yung, yung recorded sound sa camera and then your recorded voice nyo dito sa bluetooth communicator nyo you're good to go 
sync nyo lang po siya. Hinaan nyo lang po yung volume dito pero you don't want air you don't, you don't want the air to go with like swooshing around the, your whole video, no? So hinaan nyo lang po yung video, yung yung volume and then sync it with your recorded voice and then that's it. That's how I do my vlogs. Kaya po kung mapapansin niyo medyo malakas po yung sound ng uh, voice ko, yung tawa ko, yung uh, I don't know, yung sound, no? Tapos medyo mahina lang po yung sound ng aking exhaust para po clear yung sinasabi ko. So, uh, that's basically my uh, helmet. My new helmet, my new moto vlogging helmet from LS2. From LS2 Rapid. Yeah. And I showed you guys how uh, I did my setup on my new moto vlogging helmet. So, uh, for now, I want to show you guys my different helmets no para po uh, since i have i am here na rin, no so this is my uh, AGV K3 SB tartaruga yeah i got this like 3 years ago nung bago ko yung Nmax ko and then this one is my second helmet it's a K AGV Rossi 2002 yeah the sun and moon i think and then sabi ko po muna ito this one is my uh, brand new AGV K1 Gothic. Yeah, the moon, the sun, and the moon. Yes, it's a Valentino Rossi. It's an idol Pussy Rossi. And I also want to design the sun and the moon. No? It's a night and day or whatever. So, uh, I'm going to put it in So in here, I have my Beltwell Lane Splitter helmet. Yeah, I use this also for uh, moto vlogging, and when I'm using my Kamoteng Ducati, no, so it's a classic looking helmet. Kaya bagay pusho sa Ducati Scrambler ko, no? And then this one, exclusive purpose for racing or for track use, race track. Yes. So it's a Showy X Spirit Three. Mark Marquez na I got siguro mga 2 years ago or a year ago no? and yun po, yung sole purpose niya is uh, for track use no? kung makikita niyo po yung uh, aking intro video yung bumagsak po ako sa Yamaha R3 ito po yung gamit ko nun that's why I'm looking at the spoiler kasi parang luminis po yung tama niya dito no? kasi I was I slept for around one and a half hours for two days, a total of one and a half hours, and I went to the race track. No, I practiced and bumigay na po talaga yung tuhod ko sa sobrang pagod na pagod na talaga ako. I drove there, I drove my trailer with my bike, I carried it by myself, so pagod na pagod na po ako. So, uh, ito naman po yung uh, aking ICC approved Predator helmet no? so I got this from Malaysia I shipped it here pero hindi ko po siya ginagamit kahit na may ICC sticker siya and I think ako lang po yung meron dito sa Pilipinas no? because uh, yeah, wala po ako nakikita sa daan ibang iba po ito dun sa mga nakikita nyo sa daan ng mga suot ng Predator Riders of the Philippines. This is, uh, I think, the Predator Tracker. Yeah, so... Ayan. So, uh... That's all. And, as always, thank you for watching my diary. The Diary of a Motorcycle Rider, Philippines, and Ride Safe to all of you. But don't forget, please, please do subscribe if you want, if you like this video. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and hit the notification button. So, yun lamang po, wala na po ako ibang sasabihin except um, God bless all of you and thank you so much. And yeah, it's a full uh, DMRPH.
And again, thank you for watching my diary, the diary of a motorcycle rider, Philippines. Bye-bye po.